Hello everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel for our Saturday craft day with Craft Galley. We are going to be playing with this Alta New World Map stamp set today and some really fun foiling techniques. So as you can see, the top map is sort of got a gritty look and the bottom is more bubbles, which we're not going to be focusing so much on those fine details today with what we're doing because we are going to be doing some foiling without a laminator machine. So if you have a heat tool and you have foil, we're going to make this work. Oh, and some embossing powder. <laughs> so let's see how we get this technique. It is super fun. I had so much fun. Obviously, you saw I made four cards. My intent was to make one, but I just could not stop. So we have four out of the deal. Here's the stamp set. Lots of great sentiments, too. Things about traveling, missing you, etc. And then we have this deco foil a pack of rainbow foil. Now there is, um, there are 20 sheets to this pack, which is incredible because you're gonna get a lot of use out of just this one pack of foil. Plus I couldn't turn down the rainbow action. All right, so let's get started here. We are pulling out our Misty and I'm gonna stamp in Versamark ink with some clear embossing powder. You can use any embossing powder you have is fine it will work but I do like the clear or the white because that's less color that I have to try to cover up so I'm doing your standard um, inking with the Versamark putting the powder over it and heat setting it so you're just gonna heat set your project you can do these all at once that's fine once that's finished I am going to put this down onto my mat with a little bit of washi tape because I don't want it shifting around on me I'm going to have to be quick with what I'm doing, so I wanted to make sure that it didn't like slide. What you're doing here is you're going to heat set parts of your image again. You're reheating, reactivating, and melting that embossing powder. And then you're gonna put the foil right over it. Now I will caution you, there are a few things to be aware of when you're doing this. That is really hot. So when you put that down, you could see me grab my bone folder here. You want to be extra, extra careful because I'm heat setting it. Then I'm putting the foil down on it and I want it to get the quick stick to it. So I kind of tap it and then I bring in something to kind of burnish it. So something to keep in mind when you're burnishing is you're going to flatten your image. Now this started off being a very gritty, detailed, not gritty, grid looking detail of a stamp but when I started doing this it mashed up a lot of those grid squares into one because the melting embossing powder I'm hoping that makes sense so when you do this technique doing it with a very fine detailed stamp that you want to keep the details is probably not a great idea but this I did not care about this second one here I moved on to the second one and I wanted to show you real quick the dot stamp so I kept a little bit of that dot detail. If you don't press so hard um, with your bone folder, you can try to keep some of that uh, detail in your stamps. But again, I did not mind if it melted into it. Now this is a different way I'm doing it. This way I'm gonna be using some black cardstock and I'm gonna place the foil all the way over my image and then melt it and heat from the top. And as I'm melting it, I'm just letting it kind of seep into that remelted embossing powder. And this is a lot easier because you don't have to go back and forth so much, but you are definitely going to get a lot more of that um, melted imagery versus detail. But when I pulled that off in one go, I was like, what am I looking at? This is so pretty. The um, foil just... It's pretty on its own, but when you start putting it in this fashion or you throw it through your laminator or however you want to do it, it's so pretty, especially with more of a solid image versus like a sentiment or something. Because sentiment, you'll catch a little bit of that rainbow, but when you get more of these solid images, it really shows that rainbow, as you can see. I mean, you can see it right there on the film. So you can see I'm going back and doing a little bit of touch up and then I wanted the light to hit this so you can see this magic. And I'm loving that on the black cardstock. I think that is so pretty. Okay, so I get that done. And as you saw at the end of it, I'm gonna go back and try to 
pick up some of those other details. Um, now, this is a gray card stock, and there were some pieces that the embossing powder actually melted away completely, so there was nothing to stick to the foil. So I went back with a Versamark pen and just added a little bit of those details, more embossing powder, heat set it, and then went back in, as you can see here, with a little bit of my foil to kind of pick up some of those areas that were blank. This does not have to be a perfect science. This is really just fun. And again, I'm not super concerned about details of this image. You can tell it's a world map. And that is what I was going for. Okay, so I have all four of my maps done here. And I am pleased as punch with all of them. I think this is just absolutely a stunning stamp set in and of itself. You can do so many more things than what I'm doing here. I'm going to have my hand at this with watercoloring, um, some distress oxide backgrounds, and then the stamp the world map over it. It's going to be great. But for right now, this is the technique that I was playing with. I'm going to get my sentiments down. I'm going to take my black cardstock, and I'm going to put all my sentiments down at once. I'm seeing a lighting issue going on on my video right now, and I'm very sorry about that. I have no idea what that is or why that's happening. So I will look into that. Okay, so I am going to put white embossing powder now over my sentiment images. I like to do them all at once. I thought that was fun. And also I get four different sentiments for my cards. This would be a really great set to give out as a gift because of the, um, just, you know, the symmetry of all the cards yet you can use them for different occasions. So uh, you saw me kind of brush away some of that powder. I'm gonna heat set that, and then I'm gonna trim them down with my paper trimmer. So um, there, there's really nothing, I'm not gonna use any banners or do anything fancy with them except for the one. I am going to cut it out around the sentiment because I really like that look. I think it adds an extra element to the sentiment. So but other than that, I'm just going to cut them down into rectangles, so to put on my card front. Okay, I am getting these sentiments ready, and I kind of had, didn't really know which one I wanted to go with which. Now, it wasn't necessarily, because they're all the same stamp, but it was the color of the paper, the cardstock. So I wasn't quite sure which one looked the best. Anyway, just showing you here how I'm cutting out the Hello Friend very simply. And then I just decide which one I like. And you kind of just have to play with your projects to figure that out, but no big deal. This is like the least of our troubles here with this card. I get them all done and then I'm gonna put some foam tape on the back of my sentiments because I believe that this will add just the element that I need. I don't wanna embellish these card fronts in any other fashion. I think they're perfect just the way they are which is a feat for me because I really like to embellish or sometimes I think that it's too plain and there's just something that it's needed. But honestly, I really liked this simplicity of these because the rainbow foil on the map is not so simple. I really believe that's the showstopper. I am going to add some Nouveau Sparkle Pen to my sentiments on some of these cards just to add a little bit of sparkle to the front of those. And then on the back side of my card fronts here, I'm going to be putting some fun foam with double-sided adhesive. And that is going to allow these cards to have a really great dimension to pop up on the back and um, just add another layer of interest to the card. This is something that you don't normally see in a store-bought card. So that's why when you have those opportunities, even if they're small or plain to us as the card maker, they add a lot to a card for someone who's receiving it because I don't get a lot of dimensional cards from, actually, I don't get any cards from the store that I buy. <laughs> um, but if I was to receive a card, let's say, it's not gonna be you know, with, with popped up dimension, okay. So then I'm going to place those on my card panels, which is 110 Nina Solar Weight cardstock. And any sturdy cardstock you have will do fine. And then that will finish the project. I left this little part in here because as I'm laying them down, you can see the light hit the rainbow. And I just thought that was so fun. So that will do it for our project today. 
Hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, you can do this foil with your heat gun technique on virtually any stamp image that you have. So you don't have to have any special foiling plates um, or have it printed out on special ink. You can just use embossing powder in your heat gun and just use caution when you're doing it. Um, but yeah, you can get great results from this. I will link at the end of this video another video I did using this technique in a little bit more detail throughout that video. So if you want to check that out, uh, you can click here for that. And I will list what we use below in the description. Don't forget to head over to Craft Galley to check out what's in store um, so you can see all the great deals and everything she has. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.